my biggest ever speaking in business mistake was avoiding looking at all of the areas in my speaking and in my business that actually needed attention. I thought I knew it all. I thought I can do it. I already know. I have been in a position where people are coming to me and asking for them to be able to be coached or to be able to have training in their staff. So I never really had to go out and look for business. Business always seemed to come to me. So I never really had to put in the work to be able to do that. But also, I really didn't want to do any of that stuff. I really didn't like the aspect of um, being able to get on the phone and speak to people and start looking at how I was going to connect and engage and look like I was selling. All of those things I really didn't like. And I really avoided it. And that's the biggest, biggest mistake that I ever made of not looking at all of those areas that actually really needed work. And again, it was around my own speaking, my own development, my own confidence and clarity, but also around my business as well. I was aiming really low. I really wasn't looking at the full potential of what I could do in my business and my speaking. I wasn't really putting myself out there because I was scared, imposter syndrome. So I wasn't being visible. I really wasn't going into the in-depth about my story, being vulnerable because I thought I'm just going to have this persona of I'm here to train, I'm here to coach, I'm here to add value. I do not have to talk about myself in that way. And really, that was the biggest mistake that I ever made. And this time 12 months ago was really when I was in the trenches and I really just didn't know how to get out of it. I was in so much debt. Um, I really was struggling to pay, to pay my rent. And I really just didn't know what to do because I had moved from central Queensland to Brisbane and I was in a totally, totally different um, scenario. And in that moment, I really had to think about, well, what is it that I need to do? I needed to really look at myself and go, well, what's the areas of my business and my speaking that really right now is a priority and not to avoid it, not to look at other things that I could do thinking I can do that course, I can do other things, I can focus on some other things that I could be doing around speaking in my business, but not actually focusing on the fact that I really needed to get clear, I needed to be able to craft my story and start sharing that start getting visible, putting myself out there and being able to practice because without being out there, nobody would know that I was there and I would become the best kept secret. So in those moments, I really had to think about the fact that A, I was struggling financially, but how was I going to be able to find someone to work with that was going to help me because I didn't have it. And if you can relate to that, if you've been in those situations where you think, when I start getting clients, I'll be able to invest in myself. When I finish that course, I'll have that credibility that people will just be lining up to work with me. And I remember thinking, if I can get more clients, I can then invest in myself. However, I wasn't going to be able to do that. And I literally had to just find what I needed in order to have that one session with someone that was going to be able to help me in that one occasion. And I literally made that money back within 48 hours. So that's the thing when we get to that point of we maybe don't have the money, but we are going to learn the skills from people that actually are, if you go away and put in the effort, that it is going to come back and return an investment. So from there, I literally just started to focus on the areas that really needed my attention and my business, get super uncomfortable with really being able to structure out my speaking, understand more about sales from speaking, from getting people on the phone, being able to do all of those things. And it started to grow from there. And I literally went away for two months to back home to Scotland and I worked so hard in the UK and in Australia. And by the time I got back on that plane in January to come back to Australia, I had paid all my debt off 
And I literally had a foundation to grow from there because I had the skills, I had the know-how of how I was going to be able to do that as soon as I came back. I also used that opportunity over a time where most people shut down. And I literally used a time in the year that most people would shut down and think that no one wants to know anything about learning from me or learning anything and gaining those skills. And however, I'm here to tell you that people are there and people do want to be able to have that time over those holidays because they're having downtime and they're now got the time to put in to invest in themselves. So it is there. If you look for it, it is there. So from there and making that biggest mistake, I literally had options of, do I continue in my business or do I look at other options and, and do I look at getting a job again? But I knew in my heart, I was not going to go back into a job. My business meant so much to me, everything that I do. And I literally had to get so focused on my bigger vision, the future of where I was going to be. And I literally got up every day walking into my future as if it was already here. I had X amount of clients, X amount of money in the bank, and I just kept going and this year in 12 months, I literally invested in myself every step of the way to every area on my business and speaking. I've literally went to do um, coaching. I went group coaching. I then understood and empowered myself in finances, in sales, in speaking, um, and about to embark into some more of that around marketing as well. So really have a look at that for your own self and your own business. Like what areas are you avoiding? What areas are you procrastinating on? And what are you saying to yourself that when I have done this, then I'll be ready to invest in myself. And that's never going to happen because you're actually not going to be able to get there to do those things without asking for help. And that is something that I have massively, massively learned. And I literally, um, every opportunity comes up, I go, right, what's my next thing that I need to learn? Because I never want to stop learning. I never want to stop investing in myself because I know that I grow, my business grows and the people that I work with grow, the more I invest in myself to do that. And you do see the return on investment. If I look at this time last year, my business and my speaking, I have grown, my return on investment and my revenue has absolutely grown. And during a massive pandemic in the world, I have been able to literally triple my income um, from this time last year to this year. And I am on the path to be able to even more double and triple that going into 2021. So my question to all to you is, is that what are you sitting there avoiding? What are you procrastinating on and what are you thinking is your next step to do to avoid getting uncomfortable with the things that you need to be able to do in order to take that next step, invest in yourself and really start to take it seriously. It is if you're in a business, really think about what do you need to do to take it seriously and be able to grow that and grow it not just as a hobby and be able to grow it as a business. Because when you see it as a business, you're going to invest in yourself, whether you have it or not, because it is going to be able to come back to you tenfold. So sit down with a bit of paper. What areas in your business are you speaking or your organization do you need to have help with? And, and I want you to highlight the key areas that you actually are avoiding um, or resisting because you just think, oh my God, it's going to be really too hard to, to do. And then put it over on the other side and then prioritize what do you need to do. But I really would emphasize on it is that the one you feel the most uh, resistant of is normally the first one. And really it's about getting that confidence to get visible in your speaking. And then you're going to be able to get visible, get clarity, start gaining clients and structuring and really putting yourself in such a position for 2021. So don't make the mistakes that I made this time last year. Really start to be able to look at those areas, start working through them, ask for help, reach out to people and really begin that journey of really setting yourself up for 2021. 
And I look forward to being able to connect with you all in 2021 and really be able to help you in your journey in 2021.